Now, I want to show you as if you were looking on another flower, and I've already put some white in here, but whatever your flower or leaf shapes, if I want them to be, again, brighter on this uh, darker surface, I come in and just start to put a little bit of a light wash of color on there. That might be referred to often as putting on a base on there. Um, and I want to come on through. Now, as I'm doing this, if I change my mind, of course I can paint back over it. And you can see how this is even pretty with having just a little tint of color in a background. So there's so many options and things that you can do with when you're using your acrylics that you might think about doing a whole painting with just a little bit of color. I'm gonna come back in now and make a brighter flower out of this. And I can put in my center section. I'm gonna re, uh, this is dry now. I had already put in a white uh, base, and I want to pull this back out. And as I pull this out, I want to come on around. Then I can pick up some colors. I can make this look like a petunia. And I like to paint flowers, so knowing to how to get those really brilliant colors on there, I think is important. And pull that around, around. Look how bright that is in shape. And then I can pull this on back. Now, when you're using your acrylics, they do and dry quite quickly. So as I'm working, I want to think about uh, maybe planning a little bit ahead. If I'm, uh, I could not just block in white in a lot of different uh, petals and then come back in. You'd want to work one flower at a time, coming back on around with a little bit of dark, deepening this, and you can see how brilliant then the color would look.